guys and welcome, welcome back. back. Today we are doing a little skincare video. We're just going to go through some of our empties and some items that we always repurchase. You guys have asked for this video for many months now, <laughs> so we decided we'd finally sit down and take you through uh, the skincare items that we use on a daily basis. Yeah, we absolutely adore. We also have a little guest star. My little baby's here. <laughs> we took her for a little walk today. She's very tired, so she's just going to be sleeping on my lap. So we've both got combination skin and we find these products really, really help our skin, whether it's summer, winter, we like to mix it up, but these generally are the products that we always consistently use in all four seasons. So combination skin, if you don't know, means that you're just oily in the T-zone, so sort of in this lower forehead region and then down your nose and maybe within the center of your face as well. Yeah. So we're exactly the same. Um, so we use the same thing and then like, <laughs> in our skincare routine. Yeah, and then we tend to be more dry in the cheeks area. Yes, very dry here. Yeah. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing that we've got is actually, this is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid with vitamin B5. And I absolutely love it because it comes in a little eye drop dispenser and it's super easy to use. You just press that and it gives you the amount that you need. <laughs> do you find that it actually works? Like what does it do for your skin? Because it's meant to it's meant to sort of hydrate what is it? Yeah, it's actually really hydrating, but I use this right after toner. Good. Yeah, well yes, but it they say that um when you use this, your face should be a little bit damp so that it absorbs the moisture and then like actually sinks it into your skin. So this is something that I've been using for the past probably over a year now. Like I've used... So that lasts for a year? No, this doesn't last for a year. This actually goes pretty quickly. Because I think you only need really a thin layer, maybe two drops, and just pat it into your I face. I don't use two drops. So every time, just before I use it, I like press a little squeezy tube at the top and it comes up with probably like this much product. Oh, so put, you put that on with your hand? Yeah, so about a third of this little glass droplet and I just use all of that onto my face and then I just pat it dry and it's great. Like it's super hydrating. It's like this really nice um, slimy feeling, but it feels nice. It's a watery gel, that's a consistent thing. Um, that I've noticed about this is it. that I feel like it helps with texture. In saying that, I also feel like texture, you can really notice the difference probably like six months in, which is why I've been using this for a long time. I really want to see the results mm. and if it like actually helps plumping and all that. And I find that it does, but it's a very, very slow process. This one is just by The Ordinary that I use. I quite like The Ordinary. I think that it's quite decently priced. You can buy them at drugstores, pharmacies. This is actually a little bit bigger than the regular one. Yeah, it's quite large. Yeah, I, I like to buy the big ones as well because mm. they're a little bit more worth the price. But in saying that, it's a fairly cheap product. Yeah. Next, we've got Garnier Micellar Water. And I... Is this new? This is new. I haven't opened this at all. We use this every morning and every night just before our skincare, right after we wash our face. With a little... You just dab it onto a little cotton pad. Yeah. You can, you know, wherever you can get it from. I would suggest getting organic just because the non-organic ones do have a bit of microfibers and plastics mixed into them. It's not that great for your no, skin. No, not the best. But I mean, if that's all you can, I mean, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. But I'll just say for people with sensitive skin, mm. definitely go for the organic ones. I told you, you should get the organic yeah, ones. Yeah, I didn't know that until I did some research. And actually, if you use the ones with a little bit, bit of plastic, you have um, micro tears all yes. over your face, which is never a good thing. Garnier in the value size. I just like the bigger ones because we are constantly using them So a bigger size is always just Great and the bottle is also recyclable. So all you need to do is remove the plastic labeling and you can recycle them so that's So we basically use micellar water after we will cleanse our face mm -hmm. um, just to get rid of any extra debris or dirt that's yeah. sitting on the face or even makeup. You'll find that you'll actually see a dirty pad afterwards and so once you see that you'll keep using it. Keep using it until once you finish wiping your face with a cotton pad it's completely gunk free. Gunk free. Gunk free. <laughs> like you don't want any of the nasties sitting on your face especially when you're putting your skincare on. Mm -hmm. It's just like packing on skincare with dirt and it's yeah. just no you, good You want to make sure it's, it's absolutely clean yeah. so I would definitely suggest incorporating micellar water as your mm -hmm. first step. 
um, in your skincare routine. Yeah, or even just toner, like something that's just going to clear everything mm -hmm. else, yep. all of the remaining debris of your face. This is a great micellar water for sort of a low, well, a more affordable range for micellar yeah, water. Absolutely. I would say you don't need to explode on micellar water at mm -hmm. all. Um, as long as it's I think got it's unnecessary. Yeah. yeah, like this one is good for normal to sensitive skin as well, and it's fragrance free, which is so so good for your face. You don't want anything with fragrance. You just want to keep it as light as possible with yeah. less chemicals. <clears throat> fragrance, and... yeah, fragrance generally means that there's probably alcohol in there, and yeah. that's horrible for your skin. So make sure it's fragrance free mm -hmm. and alcohol free as well. Yeah. Next on the agenda, we have one of our absolute favorites, and this is the Nivea Cream. Funnily enough, my mum actually introduced us to this cream yeah. when we were overseas, um, just because it we was, wouldn't be able to regularly stock up our skincare, yeah. and it, it was super cold there. So this is a great cream uh, as to put on as your last step in your skincare routine. It'll lock in all of the moisture and it's it's just a really great consistency, not too heavy, not too light, but it's really, really great and almost resembles the La Mer cream. For La Mer, you basically have to rub it between your hands and heat it up. So I suggest you do that for this one as well. Um, and then you'll find that it sort of melts into your hands a little bit, sort of breaks up with the heat, and then you can just dab that onto your face. If you do put this on straight away without sort of heating it up between your fingers, it'll just leave your face looking like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll so, get sort of cream stuck everywhere. Yeah, it's no, hilarious. so when you like, I actually grab so much. Like, I am so generous when I'm applying this to my face. Because it's so affordable. Exactly, well. and I rub it in my hands, and it goes into like almost like a very see through, more liquid consistency, and I rub it and then pat my face and it gives such a nice glow and that's why I love it so much like it's so nice and dewy and glowy and it feels super hydrating and it keeps everything intact and that's what I love especially in the day before my makeup and after at night when I'm sleeping I just feel like it's just packed with moisture mm. yeah I think if I skip this step with our Nivea cream you wake up and it, your face is like tight it's so tight it, you can just feel that your skin sort of been exposed to the cold air yeah it's winter in australia now and so if you don't put on a nice cream at the end of your skincare routine it'll just dry out your skin it's so, so true even in summer it's great it's not too heavy yeah. just maybe just putting less on mm -hmm. i think that would be absolutely fine that's what we did as well yeah this one's actually fairly cheap like i bought it for like seven australian dollars some places are 10 but the price difference isn't like that crazy it's just a really Super really cheap affordable. product and it works that's the most important thing I think with skincare like the most important thing is you don't need to spend a lot you just need to find what works with your skin every time you put skin on your face always use whatever's left over in your hand onto your neck you always want to moisturize your neck as well never ever leave out your neck it's so important especially when it's one of the areas that's most prone to wrinkles and mm. sagging especially in the 21st century when yes. everyone's looking down at their phones. Yes. Oh um, my goodness. Uh, you, you need to protect your neck. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think even, not even like just using the remains, actually using some and dedicating to your neck every time. Yeah. This is what my mom told me. you got to push yes, up. Yes, me Do not too. pull down. Do you know how many people I watch, they're like, you have to protect the neck and absolutely, and then they start pulling down and yeah. it's like, no, you don't want to. Gravity it's always does that for yes, you. Yes, <laughs> it's already doing that for you, okay? Yeah. And people are like, you know, you want to use lifting, lifting motion. So you should apply the same theory to your neck as well. Lifting, always lifting up, never pushing down, especially on the neck. Yes. And even getting the back of your neck because yes. that's neglected as well. Or even so. like, I always go like to the back of my ears as well. Like yeah. the whole thing, lifting up. And then at the yeah. end, I like to do like a little pat, 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 mm. pat, So it just really like pushes it into my skin. If this is uncomfortable, then just, just patting it in lightly, mm -hmm. in light motions always. Yeah. But do not forget your neck. Guys. Never forget your neck. Do not. So, so important. Neck. And your hands. Mm. Yeah, the remains you can put in your hand. Or use hand cream. Yes, highly recommend hand cream. Yeah, especially with hand sanitizer these days. Mmm, so good. Yeah, it's almost like pulp, but it's thicker. Right. Like a lip gloss texture. Yeah, yeah. isn't it so nice? Mm. So next, what we have is the Clinique Moisture Surge, and this one is 
one of my favorite lip balms that I've ever used. I actually got this as a tester when I was purchasing my Clinique items and sometimes they do like promotional things where they give you a little test bag. Um, this, can I just say though, them. how cute is this? So this is actually one of the gift bags that they give you when you purchase an item. Um, it changes every time that they, they do. The pattern, right? Yeah, the pattern changes, the style changes as well and they give you just like free little test things, but I absolutely love them. Every time I test a new product, I always, like it's a great feel on if you like it, but works with your skin and yeah. And who doesn't love free stuff? <laughs> Especially when it turns out to be good. Yeah. It, it, it's a great way to find out mm -hmm. what works for you and what you love about that brand. It is so cute. I think tester things are adorable. <laughs> Because they're so small. Yeah. They're so you know small. what? I love saving my tester items for when I go away, especially mm -hmm. on like short vacations. It's like the perfect time to use them, to test them out, especially when they're like small and they don't take as much room and they're easy to transport and carry. And they only generally last for like a week or like mm -hmm. two only if you're few, lucky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a few days. Yeah. And you don't have to pack it all back. So it just makes it super convenient and light. But for this one, I love this one mm. because it's super it's good. hydrating. It's really thick, so it's great for on the go. It's really good when you're about to, before you sleep. I love putting like a thick layer of lip balm. Mm. When I wake up in the morning, my lips just feel so you soft. You want them to be nice and soft and luscious. Yeah, exactly. No and one this... wants crusty lips, guys. <laughs> and we cannot live without lip balm. Mm -mm. Just the feeling of just being hydrated. Tight lips. And it starts to get dry. Especially when you eat salty foods. Yeah. And they which, shrivel up. Oh, I hate it. But it's, it's because we're just used to having them moisturized. But yeah. guys. No matter how much water I drink, if I don't have lip balm, I feel dehydrated. Mm. So this is great. And it also gives a really nice glossy finish. So the texture is, it, it's not so much lip balm. It's almost in between a lip gloss and lip yeah. balm. So it's a little bit sticky, mm -hmm. a little bit of a shine. Yeah, but, it's, it's but really it nice. works great and mm. you feel super hydrated and yeah. it feels amazing. Mm -hmm. I can um, yeah, definitely agree with that. <laughs> Next we have one of the most important steps to skincare and it's actually the eye cream. Need to keep the under eyes nice and hydrated, especially before makeup, mm -hmm. girls. And guys. <laughs> Girls and guys, Girls everybody. And guys. guys should also be using skincare, okay? Nobody Absolutely. wants crusty. Okay. Are we saying crusty too? <laughs> Nobody wants to look crusty. We want <sighs> nice, plump under eyes that are not going to mm -hmm. start sagging early. So you yep. just want to keep, you want to prevent your skin from wrinkles and sun damage. Mm -hmm. You need to do it young. So Absolutely. Was, Prevention. We're not going to start using these products when we're 50 after not using them my whole life. It's mm -hmm. not magical cream. It's just not going to suddenly work. It's all about prevention and delaying the Aging inevitable. Process. It's inevitable, <laughs> exactly. but you know, if you can prevent it, why not? Exactly. So we've been taking care of our skin since we were probably 16, 15. Mm. But I think we got more into it with a full skincare routine when we're about true. 16. That is true. You know, when you're going through puberty, a few pimples here and there, you, you sort of you sort of take yeah. interest to it. So I think so that's when true. we started. Absolutely. But we love skincare. Yes, Everything about we do. it. And it smells it smells really nice. It doesn't smell like chemically, it just mm. smells like a nice decent smell. And we've used this one specifically for so long as well and it's just really hydrating. It's yeah. a lifting filler cream, so it's really nice. All you have to remember is use your ring fingers because it's the weakest finger on your hand and you rub it on and then dab, dab, dab. Always dab, but... Do not pull. Wonders. Dab. Dab. Don't Always dab. Because the skin that under your eyes is very thin. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can tell when you look in the mirror. Yeah. So just being careful with that yeah. is a tip from us. This one's on the expensive spectrum, but I mm. feel like if I'm going to invest in something, it's going to be eye cream, especially if the area is so sensitive. I've noticed that if you do a eye cream that's too thick or too rich, especially because we're like quite young as well, you will get like the little oil um, spots that come out, mm. which is why they recommend not to use like heavy or like thicker creams under your eye area and the to little, tell you the to little avoid it. The little white, white Yeah, the little start. spots, yeah. 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 The, to avoid them, like mm. here, especially with the, um, the pores, 
you just have to make sure that nothing is too heavy and too concentrated and rich mm. and you're using what's right for your skin but the packaging yeah. is super nice like the bottom the it's in plastic but it's like a really luxurious feel it's like a nice glossy finish and it's just I love the purple color that they have this day. Right. I it's, think it's, it's just really nice. Nice and luxurious. I mean, it is on the higher end of yeah. the spectrum, but I think it's worth the price. I so think. last but not least, we've got sunscreen. And right now we are using the Aspect SPF 50. I was doing my research and it was recommended that you don't use anything less than SPF 50 on your face. 50 SPF or anything about that is fine as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think these days with global warming and the sun just getting hot every year, yeah, it's, it's important to protect your face and your, your skin, even your body if you go out in the yeah. sun all the time, um, then definitely protecting it with SPF because that is what also causes aging. That's, mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the main that's high, cause. Yeah. It's the most main cause of aging. And so we've been using sunscreen since high school as yeah, well. Especially when you're going out in the sun or just like out, mm -hmm. even at home when I know like there, there's like the sun rays coming through the window, I'll just have SPF. You yeah. never know. Yeah, exactly. Um, you'd rather just be safe than sorry. But we only use this in the morning. There's no need to use it at nighttime. And I also find like a lot of moisturizers have SPF in them. So I like to keep those specific moisturizers for the day and then just layer on my sunscreen. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, really I wouldn't nighttime. recommend using moisturizers that have SPF at nighttime yeah. just because it might block your pores mm -hmm. more. So if you have it's moisturizers yeah, or, or cream that have SPF, then um, only using those for the day, separate items for nighttime. Yeah. So I, I know a lot of people don't put sunscreen on because they hate the oily film that it leaves on your face. But I love it. I mean, I, I, I like, love it. This I one has a bit it. of the oily film, but there are lots of sunscreens out there that don't have that sort of oily finish. So if you don't use sunscreen for that reason, I would suggest using Yes and Nessa. This that one is great. It's so mattifying, and I love the touch. It okay. So every time I put it on my hand, I notice a really big difference compared to like normal sunscreen because it's so like it's more like a silky finish. It, it also comes out in it's quite watery when you squeeze yeah. it out, and then when you like rub it, it in, put it on your face. face. It's like a really, it's really a mattifying. Match. It's really nice. Yeah. But I personally like that oily film only because, especially when I'm not wearing makeup on a day to day basis, I notice that a lot more people compliment me on my skin and they're like, wow, you're so glowy today. Or like, what's changed? Like, you're so dewy. And it's honestly just the sunscreen. It it's, is the sunscreen. It's just the sunscreen or my oily face. I don't really honestly, know. Honestly, the dewiness is because. We have an oily T zone, mm -hmm. and then we do love to moisturize, not over moisturizing, but just enough, and yeah. then the sunscreen. It's definitely, for me, I know it's a sunscreen because every time that everyone's just like, it, like, you look so glowy, and I'm like, it's just sunscreen. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's a secret. The, yeah, that's the that's secret. That's a secret. There is no secret. <laughs> well, the secret's out now. But even before we put makeup on, like pack a layer of sunscreen on. Even my primer has sunscreen on, so I like to use sunscreen and keep it on my face as much as possible. It's a little bit hard to reapply sunscreen, especially when you're wearing makeup. Mm. So there are even sunscreen powders that you can put on. Yeah, which I've, I've never before. tried. Are they good? Yeah, I think the first type of sunscreen I used was a powder yeah. because back then I hated feeling moisturized. <laughs> this was when I was it's, about 14, 15 yeah. and I hated the feeling of of that oiliness on the skin. But yeah, back then I did use, I think it was Shuomura. I used a Shuomura mm. um, powder sunscreen and it was good. I liked it. I think now I wouldn't unless I'm wearing makeup and then going out during the day um, just so it's not too oily and your makeup doesn't start breaking up. But yeah, I have used it before. But honestly, I just love the 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 cream moisturizer, so, uh, the cream sunscreen. I think, yeah, I think they probably work the best as well. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Just a few of our essential skincare items, which we repurchase all the time, and we'd love to hear if you also go out and purchase them and have a try for yourself. Mm -hmm. So let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.